what to do in Melbourne, Victoria when visiting for three days. Here we are renting a car from East Coast Car Rentals. Fancy looking bridge. And we stayed at Atlantis Hotel Melbourne. That's the Atlantis. And outside police station, they have free continental breakfast and we booked it through booking.com our first stop will be the morning market it's a trendy cafe a walking distance to melbourne museum at melbourne, melbourne museum we will be exploring the triceratops exhibition and it is very entertaining for young children Now let's go for a driving tour around Melbourne CBD. We are heading to the Federation Square. It's the center of Melbourne's art and culture. And we will be checking out Victoria Gardens, Royal Botanic Gardens and the popular Shrine of Remembrance. Queen Victoria Gardens. Yep. Yeah. How beautiful it is here. Look at that. Let's go closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> Domain. What is in here? It's the king. Mm -hmm. From the Queen Victoria Gardens. How pretty. 
It's 5.30 at the Yeah. I'll stand behind it. Botanic Gardens. All right, let's go. We have no They're doing the same thing. They're trying to book online. Yeah. They can't book out. Yeah, it's booked up. So we can just food place in there. <laughs> Not having lights, okay. Share your snap. Those people are a bit like moths that get attracted to light. <laughs> We're going to the shrine. Ooh, it's dark. A bit dark here. Shrine of Remembrance at night. And opposite is the Royal Botanic Gardens. It's up. Observation deck, so, National Gallery, and we are going to. Yeah, we, so that's the Yarra River MCG. You can check on the uh, on the map in a minute. Ah. For dinner experience at Federation Square, we highly recommend Taxi Kitchen. It's a modern. Uh, Australian restaurant with beautiful views uh, around Melbourne City. Operation Square at the moment, so there's a movie. Outdoor cinema going at the moment. We just had dinner from that one there, Taxi Kitchen. Good. There's an outdoor movie. That's why people are watching. <laughs> when visiting Melbourne, you can't miss the Flinders Street Railway Station. It is very well known for its architectural design. And it is known to be the oldest train station in Australia. Okay. Our quest for today will be at Queen Victoria Market. It was opened in 1878, so it is considered to be the most iconic market of Melbourne. Here you'll find fresh produce, imported and local products from clothing and to ac different accessories leather bags <laughs> um but did i have danis where tasca luggage there Oh, 
was thinking something a little bit of a little bit these little breeze. Yeah, I don't know. What would you? Oh yeah. See if they're good. And our final quest will be Chadstone Shopping Center. It is Australia's biggest shopping center. And if you are visiting Melbourne and you love luxury shopping, then this is the place for you. Come and join me as we explore the place. Long We highly recommend Air Park Brisbane for long term parking uh, during your holiday. So you can choose either Air Park 1 and Air Park 2. 
air park uh, one has the shade or sails and it's ideal for uh, long-term parking to protect your car and what's most convenient about it is they have shuttle bus that will take you to both domestic or international terminals.